favorite singer I'd like to tell you about is Glimmer, the candy maker. Glimmer is the greatest candy cane maker in the entire world. Now, Glimmer is an elf, of course. All of our helpers at the North Pole are elves. And Glimmer is the best candy cane maker in the world. It's because the North Pole is the perfect environment to make candy canes. That's right. You can make candy canes, of course, anywhere. But the perfect environment is at the North Pole. And Glimmer knows a secret recipe. You see, Glimmer will take sugar. And he'll put that sugar in a great big copper kettle. And then he'll mix with that sugar North Pole snow. Yeah, he'll go out and collect this fresh fallen snow and he'll mix it in there and it makes a special syrup. But there's another special ingredient that he puts in there. It's stardust from the North Pole Star. The North Star, the Polaris Star. Have you heard of the North Star? At the North Pole, the Northern, uh, the Polaris Star shines brighter than it does anywhere else. And Glimmer has invented a special collection and magnifying device that collects the sun, those star rays from the Polaris stars. It takes those star beams and focuses them in and condenses them down onto a special collection plate. And when all the starlight evaporates, you know what's left? Well, stardust. He collects that stardust and he puts it in there and it makes the best candy canes. That snow gives the candy cane the perfect snap and that red stardust gives it the perfect flavor. When you eat it, it, you just feel warm inside from the holiday uh, spirit that's collected in that stardust. So I'm going to share with you one of, would you all like one of Glimmer's candy canes? Oh, Glimmer's candy canes are awesome. I have here one of Glimmer's candy canes, and I thought we could all shit. Wait a minute. Now that, oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Now, Glimmer said he would have candy cane, but this, this is a little bit crazy. That's the biggest candy cane ever, Glimmer. They don't, what, that won't work. But you know what Glimmer did give me? Glimmer made me a special portable candy cane factory. He said all I needed was the candy cane factory right here. Uh, it, is, it consists of these two tubes and these cloths right here. He said that the white cloth represented the, the, the freshly fallen snow at the North Pole, and the red one represents that red stardust from the Polaris star. You put them in there and cover it up just like that, and uh, in goes the tubes, and like that, uh, with a little twinkle in our eye and a Merry Christmas, we can all have candy canes made special for us at the candy factory by Glimmer the candy cane. Oh, I am so happy that you've come to visit me, and I hope that you've enjoyed the story so far. But before you leave today, oh, I have one special uh, last story that I want to tell you. It's about the very first gift of Christmas. You see, oh, every year right before Christmas, on Christmas Eve, right before I get into the sleigh and I take off into the air to deliver all your gifts, I deliver the very first grit, very first gift right there at the North Pole. I always give the first gift out at the North Pole. And uh, this particular gift is all about somebody special, some bunny special, if you will. You see, I want to tell you the story of Peppermint. Peppermint, the little snow bunny. You see, Peppermint was just a small little white bunny that lived at the North Pole. We have lots of snow bunnies there. But Peppermint so wanted to help with the holidays. Peppermint always wanted to help. He would sit and he would look through the windows of the cottage where they wrapped the gifts. And he would watch the elves wrap the gifts and wanted to help. But he was just a little bunny. How could he help? Then he would hop over to the factory and he'd look through the window and watch the factory elves as they made all the toys. Oh, he would sit and watch every year as the, the, the reindeer would hook up and we would get into the sleigh and we would take off into the air. But he never was able to help. He wanted to help so bad. But what could a little bitty bunny do? A little snow bunny at the North Pole, what could he do? Have you ever felt like you couldn't help? Have people told you you were too small or you weren't old enough? Well, that's how Peppermint felt. Well, 
as I was saying, the first gift I always give out there at the North Pole is a very special thing. And all the, the elves and the fairies and the snow folk, everybody gathers around at the, the North Pole Square and waits for me to come out with the very first gift package of Christmas. And uh, this, this year was no different. This particular year, I came out carrying a great big old gift box. And I looked at everybody and, and said, Merry Christmas. And ho, 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 ho. And we laughed and we cheered and we were all excited. And they wanted to know what was in the gift. This year's very first gift of Christmas was something special. It was for someone special. So I opened the gift box and I showed everybody that inside the gift box, oh, I forgot to tell you, yes, I am a bit of a trickster myself. Inside that gift box was nothing at all. It was an empty gift box. Oh. Well, everybody was watching. You know who else was watching? Well, Peppermint was watching. Peppermint was there in the crowd. And as I opened that box, he looked inside and saw that it was empty too. And he gasped with everybody else. But then I closed the box up. And I tweaked my nose, and with a twinkle in my eye and a Merry Christmas in my voice, Peppermint's view went dark. Everything went black. That was until a bright light came. That was from me opening the box. And inside the box, there was Peppermint. Peppermint the Snow Bunny was there. Peppermint was the first gift of Christmas this year. Peppermint became my very special helper that year. He got to fly with me in the sleigh and he got to help deliver gifts. He became the very special gift, the first gift of Christmas that year. Have you ever felt unseen? Well, he felt unseen, but you know what? Santa is always watching. And I know if you've been good or bad and good old Peppermint was as good as they can be. So always remember, if you feel unseen or feel unloved, oh, always remember, I'm watching you, and I love you, and I can't wait to come to your house on Christmas Eve to bring you all the great gifts that you've had.